all right um hello everybody all right now Adele's equation let's get the derivation for Adele's equation um for a dimeric protein that is a protein that has um, two identical sites for the same substrates so here i'll designate the protein um, protein as a lingam i'll give it this m2 let's call it ligand and then here I have X as the substrate. Now I'll give it um, it could be a promoter, so I'll give it a promoter. And let's write the reaction for the binding of the substrate to the ligand. So here I have M two plus one of the promoter will bind reversibly, and I will have M two X. And these two is very really, uh, two binding sites, so it's not partially saturated. So we have another one, and uh, which is the same one, the same protein that is partially saturated, reacting um, with another or binding on that substrate reversibly. So here I have the M two X two. So this is uh, the product. Now well, let's also write the equilibrium constant of these two reactions. So this first reaction, let's give the equilibrium constant as KB1, and then here I give it as KB2. So the equilibrium constant for this first here, I have it as KB1 equals okay, the concentration of the product, especially saturated, and the concentration of the reactant multiply that's the put the lingam multiplied by the concentration of the substrate that would be now at this point let's us make the products very especially for the condition of the um, partially saturated lingam so that's formula so here i will have it as m2x okay is equals kb1 dot Concentration of M, okay. Concentration of X. So I'll give it equation one, and I'll also do the same thing to when the point is partially saturated, we're going reacting with the other the or the other one. So here this one, and I'll give it um, okay. This is KB two, so the equilibrium constant is KB two equals the product kb has to function of this over m2 x multiplied by the substrate so now let's make this the solvent formula which will give us this m2 s2 equals kb2 right kb2 to x x let's give it equation two so here we have these equations and then if we look at this you see we have m2x in this equation two but m2x here and it has this as its meaning so for now write protein protein KBX here, KB1, sorry, M2, S, X, as M2X in equation 2. So, this implies that, sorry, let me adjust this a little. So this implies that this implies that KB2, okay, I'm sorry, it implies that M2X2 concentration is equals KB2 dot KB1 dot, okay, concentration of M2 dot concentration of X situation of x also so we have to x here this also means it is equals that equals
equals to this kb1 dot m2 dot s um, a function of x squared so let's give this equation 3 right so this equation 3 now we understand that fractional saturation saturation which is this is equal to the number of promoter promoter per volume which are bound to the lingan lingan over total number of promoter per volume now what this implies is that the bond site over the unbound site over the unbound site plus the bound site plus the bound site now it also implies again that mx function of mx over concentration of concentration of m of m okay plus concentration of uh, mx all right so putting these together what it means in essence is that there is an assumption okay assume or let's say assume that you have mx, condition of mx here to be equal to m2x m2x plus 2 m2x and that m here, what this, what this simply means is that here you have the concentration of the lingam bound to the substrate so it's in the, in, the, in the solution it is either it is singly bound or it is fully bound that was um, doubly bound that's fully bound or partially or fully bound so here when it is not bound okay when it is not bound it implies two things two more of this plus when it is singly bound I haven't known this now. Let's replace this in this equation. So it means that ms here, sorry, concentration of this mx over this plus mx, okay, is equal to replacing this with what we've done here and here. So you see that we have m2x plus 2, okay here as this when it is bound over m here which is 2 m2 plus m2x2 or here we also have this so this will come down again so here we have plus m2x plus 2 m2x2 so this will have it as this now we have this repeating so it also implies again that we should have it as this m2 plus 2 m2 x2 okay over 2 now okay let's see you have 2 here 2 is two, is 2 so we just need to put bring out we have 2 here we also have 2 here okay let me just go with like this m2 okay let's go this way Okay, I'll convert this to this. Okay, plus two m2 
two s two plus two m two s two. Now next it it, it means if you put it into perspective we have to we have to we just have to put get just one two. So if we do that what we would have repeating what we have um the numerator here so we have two m two s two over so here we have two so we have two bringing all the two out and we have m2 here okay sorry plus m2 s2 and then plus m2 s2 so we're almost done and, and then the question is here we've almost you know, yeah, once we've gotten to this point that implies that we are, we are just close to the end okay so now we've gotten this as a representative of you know the personal situation now the next step to do is to replace the meaning of m2 x2 all right because we'll go down to equation one we have the meaning of m2 x m2 x there the m2 x okay which is this so we have to replace it with m2 x here so now sorry sorry for that noise Okay, so if we go down and do that, so we have that it implies that M2X, okay, which is M2X, which is um, um, from equation one, is KB1 M2 dot X. That's plus, okay, plus. The meaning of m2 s2 so if you go back here uh, to this equation you see equation 3 with the mean of m2 s2 so we come down and replace it here in the equation so we have two open bracket and put there we put kb 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 um that's equation 3 so we have kb2 dot kb1 dot m2 concentration of m2 dot concentration of x squared all right so we close the bracket now if we do that over the next one here we have two so we have um, um have another two there okay i forgot to close this bracket okay should be closed so here we come down to this we have a concentration of m2 okay plus uh, what's, what's the concentration of M2 else here? Okay. Now remember what we did here. I made a mistake here. So here is supposed to be X. So here is supposed to be X because remember here. Uh, let me put it into perspective again. So here, remember we have two of these. So it just represents two of these. So that's what I did there. Alright. So here, if I go back and I put this. The meaning of m2x which we have as this in this equation it will be kb1 m2 and then x the plus sign and then the mean of kb i mean mean of um, m2s2 so mean of m2s2 here is is um kb2 so mind here already dot kb1 dot m2 Situation of m2 dot concentration of x squared so if we do that you discover that we have a common you know, common term in all of this equation which is m2 here we have m2 here in this each term of the equation so if we cancel m2 m2 and then here we have um, m2 here also m2 here also we have m2 here so now what it means in essence is this here the final you know and here we have kb1 s okay plus 2 kb2 kb2 kb1 as dots here dots here conjunction of x squared all over 
here you know canceling if it cancels itself we also have one here left because you know plus k b one x right plus the last one here k b two dot k b one dot x squared so here is the Adair's equation so we'll derive it so you can look at the list of where we started then we move down and then and down and down and finally we derived the Adair's equation okay for dimeric protein for a dimeric protein all right thank you for watching